We are going to be going over your science, page 100 right now. So please make sure you have your science book out and turn to page 100. And you're going to be following along with me and writing in your book as we write in this lesson. We are going to be looking at maps today and how to use maps to help us find uh, what we are looking for. Okay, let's get your fingers on, ready to follow. Understand a map. A map is a model. A model is a copy of something. There can be many different maps for the same area. One map of a museum might show you where it is in town. Another map of the same museum might show you where to go for a snack. Maps need a key. A key explains what pictures or signs on the map mean. Look at this map of a museum. Can you use the key to find a place to eat? Okay, so here is our key. Can we use this key to find a place to eat? What symbol are we gonna look for? That's right, we're gonna look for this hamburger and a drink picture over here on the map. So looking at the map, where can we find something to eat? Tell me the name of the color of the square. Okay, so yes, it's going to be right here on this orange square. This is where you can get food in the museum because we see the hamburger and the drink and none of these other symbols anywhere on the map have that. Okay, moving on. We're now on our third paragraph. Many maps also have a scale. Maps are much smaller than the real places. A scale is a way to compare the distance between two objects on the map and those same objects in real life. So here's our scale. Now, of course, the museum can't be the size of your piece of paper in your book. The museum is much larger than that, but they can't make a map as big as the museum. So they have to create a scale. And a scale will tell you how big it is in real life. Now what you do is you measure on the scale, take your ruler, and I'm gonna use the centimeter side because that tends to be more accurate here. And look at that. I see that the number one pretty much matches with the number one here. So for one centimeter, it's going to be the same as one meter in real life. Now we know in real life, one centimeter is really small, but one meter in real life, now that's the size of that meter stick or a baseball bat we've learned in math. So every single centimeter on this page is actually the size of a baseball bat not this size here so that's how they scale it down and you're going to use the scale to see how far it is in real life okay let's do this part here it says choose two places use the scale to write how far away one place is from the other Okay, so let's say I needed to, um, I was going to eat, we had already found that, and I needed to use the restroom after eating. Okay, where do I need to go? Looking at this map, first of all, look at the key. Where is the closest restroom? Tell me the color of the, build, the room. Okay, so you had a couple choices. If you were here, you could have gone over here to the garage, or you could have gone over here to the back of the coat room, or you could have gone down here in the visual learning room. Now, I'm not sure which one's close. I think, eyeballing it, I think the one in the, in the garage might be the closest one. Let's measure and see if that's true. Here we have the restroom. Here we have the food. So let's measure centimeters in between from the restroom up to the food. 
is six centimeters. Now I could even go corner to corner, five centimeters, let's say that. Okay, five centimeters. So in real life, we know they're not five centimeters apart. What does it mean in real life if it measured five centimeters? Okay, in real life, it would mean it was five meters apart because every centimeter equals one meter. And five meters is not that far. Now let's compare it to this one over here. Oh, it's much farther. Look at this. It goes all the way up to the 14. So it's 14 meters apart to go to that restroom. And now the one down here we can measure. And that goes up to uh, the number 11. So even that one is farther. So the closest restroom is right here in the parking garage. Great, so let's write how far apart those two are from each other. The restroom in the garage is, and we said that one was five, correct? Let me double check and remeasure because I already forgot. Yes, five centimeters, which equals five meters. Five meters from the food. That was the closest restroom. All right, good job. We're gonna look at a different kind of map now. Let's turn your page onto 103. We're gonna measure distance. Football fields are usually measured in yards. You can use the scale to guess the size of this football field in meters. Measure the length of the football field can be measured in meters. So here's our scale. Again, we're gonna hold up our ruler to it. And we're gonna see every one and a half centimeters would be 10 meters in real life. Let's see if inches work, matches up better. No, that's not better. So we're gonna keep it here at the centimeter side. Um, it's even closer, it's past the one and a half. Let's see. It's almost at two. So it's gonna be a little bit less than two. So let's just measure this here and we know for every um, two, in, two centimeters would be about 10 meters. Okay, it's just close. So we're going about how many meters long is this football field? We're gonna measure from here to the end, which is uh, 14. I'm trying to think of a simpler way to do this for you guys. Hold on one second. I, want, I don't want to get too difficult on math for you. I'm almost wondering. Hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like each one of these, they have it marked here, is about the yards going across. So from here to here was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 from here to here. So the whole thing is going to be about 100 yards. Um, but it's asking um, meters. I'm sorry, so it's going to be about 100 meters. Let's just do that because it didn't measure exactly. Okay, about how wide is it? So let's measure how wide it is from this side to this side. It goes up to eight, cent eight centimeters. So we have uh, two centimeters would be 10. So that means four would be 20. I don't like the way this goes. It doesn't match up exactly. They don't have a very good scale on here. <laughs> so there's 20. 
that three and two dashes would be 20. So let's do this. Three and two dashes, that's 20. Let's measure another three and two dashes. That's 40. And then this would be from here to here is one and a half, which would be about 10. So here to here was 20, here to here was 20, and there to there was 10. So let's add those up. 20 plus 20 plus 10 equals 50. So it was 50 meters wide. Okay, and you can use the scales on the map to help you measure across. Hopefully your maps normally have much better scales that use better, easier units to match it up against.